The year was 1973 and Pompey found themselves in the midst of a goalkeeping crisis. Regular number one Ron Tilstead had broken his arm against Luton a fortnight earlier and his backup? Long-serving stopper John Milkins who was struck down with gallstones and with a reserve team fixture at Millwall looming, the Blues were in a spot. At that time they had uh, uh, three goalkeepers and the problem we had was that one of them was playing in a youth team game and Ron Tillshead, who was the first choice goal at that time, he'd broken his arm in um, a game against Luton earlier in the season. And then you also had um, John Milkins, who was the, the, the reserve goalie and had been Pompey's first team goalie over time. He, he'd actually been a bit, a bit poorly in the summer and they were a bit worried about, about you know, that potentially recurring. So as a result, they didn't want to risk John in the reserve game. So they were, they were looking around for a, for a goalkeeper. And what they did is they contacted, I believe, Fairham Town, where Mick was, uh, was, was the first choice goalkeeper there, and said, well, you know, could, could we borrow your goalkeeper a game? So he found himself named in, in the Pompey Reserve side for the, the midweek league game at, at Millwall. And almost 44 years on, both Milkins and Richards returned to Pompey to reminisce over a quite curious turn of events. Uh, well, I was at work and had a phone call from Gordon Eve to say that um, they'd like me to turn out for the reserves at Millwall on the following evening, um, which, I, which I did. Yeah, and we finished up 1-1. So. Now, John, obviously at the time, Ron Tilstead had taken over be, uh, between the sticks um, and he broke his arm at Luton. So what prevented you playing, or can't you remember? I can't really remember. I mean, whether it's because I was the only goalkeeper left or they didn't want to play me for that for any reason, and that's all I can think about, really. You know. Would it have been normal for you to play at Millwall? Oh well, yeah, I would think so, yeah. I mean, the, the, the manager never confided in us. He just told you you'll do this or you'll yeah. do that, you know. Yeah. So it was difficult to know what, what went on, really. No, it was a good, good chance for Mick, really, because he was a good goalkeeper in, in his uh, fairing days. And, you know, it's a good chance for him to get in the, on the, the, the staff, really. So tell us how it works then, Mick. You're at Fairham Town and then you're at work, as you say, and Pompey call you. I got in touch with uh, Alan Wilson, who was the manager at Fairham. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I had to get permission. Alan agreed, and uh, it just went from there, really. I mean, this is the one and only time you appeared for Pompey? Uh, yes. <laughs> And, and the midweek football league, it was a sort of like a lower, a lower level of league than the, than the football combination. But we had quite a big squad, and, and that particular game, we had a we had a strong side out that, that you know would have would have pretty much passed muster for a second division fixture, to be honest. Um, and I think we, we were top of the table and unbeaten. I think we actually went on to, to win the league that year. But I, I doubt Mick played enough games to, to get a medal, unfortunately. You, you had your name up in lights for one game at the Den against Millwall and you missed their volatile crowd I would imagine so you know we'll always remember you for that well done John well done obviously for your long career All right. thank you very much <laughs>